Hi, I'm JT from Studio JLT. Today I'm going to show you how I made this barn door. It's easier than you might think. Now before we get started, I'd like to thank Old Timer Industries for sponsoring this video. They provided the resin for this project. I'll talk more about the resin when we get to that section of the build. What you've seen so far is me breaking down some rough cut walnut for the slats. Now you could save yourself a ton of work and buy pre-finished wood from your local home center. Backing up a bit, you'll need to glue and nail this wood down to something. Here I'm using a 7 foot by 3 foot section of 3 quarter inch plywood as my canvas. And hey, if you're on Instagram and decide to make this project, be sure to tag me. I post to Instagram far more frequently than I release these videos. Come say hi. I decided I wanted to add a chamfer to the sides and ends of each slat. I started by using a router, but this is not the best way. A router table would have been much easier. But I don't have a router table, but I do have a table saw, and this worked just fine. Now the trickiest part of this build, I thought I was going to say resin, but it's not. That part's coming. The trickiest part is getting the first diagonal set up. Once you get them down, everything goes pretty quickly. I suggest getting all your lengths cut first, then coming back and adding your chamfers to the ends. Batching this out all at once saves you a lot of time. These spacers help me get each quadrant spaced identically. And as you can see, I have a plan sketched out, and I'm following it so I don't screw up. And there I cut a piece too short, and I screwed up. See those two glue stains? Yeah, that's me not following my plan again. But once I've corrected that mistake, you can see it goes much quicker after that. Pro tip! Pro tip! Woodworking! Pro tip! Haha, <laughs> party on woodworkers! Now when you're nailing your slats to the plywood, nail into the side at a 45 degree angle and not on the face of it. No one wants to see these nail holes. Also, a little glue goes a long way. No one wants to see your glue squeeze out either. A track saw makes quick work to trim your pieces flush with the plywood. You can also use a router with a flush trim bit here. This was my first time using a track saw. I had mixed results. Very swervy, non-linear, pull-out-your-hair kind of results. Moving on to my favorite part of the build, the resin infills. Now, if the resin is going to be exposed to sunlight, you need to use a UV-resistant resin, like this Shine Coat UV-resistant resin from Old Timer Industries, the sponsor of today's video. It's a slow-setting resin that doesn't need pressure or degassing in order to use. I found that once you mix it, wait about 15 minutes and your colors won't get muddy. It's really easy to get great results using this resin. This is my first time to use it, and it stands out as a quality product. Here's a sneak peek showing the cured resin. You'll want to add a border along the side of your door. Just glue and pin nail it, then trim it flush. I simply sanded and stained the plywood substrate since no one's going to see the back side of my door. Well, unless I'm trapping you in my laundry room for speaking ill of my red wings. Go wings. All right, and that pretty much wraps up this build. Uh, last few things to put on a few coats of oil. Uh, you could also use a polyurethane if you want a more glossy look. And then install the hardware.
Thank you very much for watching my video today. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I do try to answer every question that I get. Uh, and thanks again to Old Timer Industries for sponsoring this video. Uh, you can see more from them at oldtimerindustries.com. I believe I did have a coupon code down in the description if you want to try some of this resin for yourself. I have a playlist of my wood turning videos up here and a playlist of my other wall art videos down below. I uh, hope you'll check them out. Uh, thank you again for watching my video. Have a fantastic day.